Afternoon everybody. We're going to start this video all over again just in case. So it's, I know it's been a minute but we are going to work on a random project that popped into my head the other day and that is building a actual functional clutch pedal stop for our manual conversion. So right now there's no stop on this clutch and it, it uh, works okay, but it over travels by a long way. So your clutch disengagement and engagement point is way off the floor, like way further than it would be in a Mustang. So it works, but it's hard as hell on the pressure plate if we leave it like that. And it also makes it kind of a little bit funky to drive because you are unnecessarily pushing the pedal instinctually all the way to the floor. So this pedal, it has a few holes in it from the factory. This is the factory piece right here. Obviously we've modified it to lengthen it and, or shorten it and offset it. But anyways, we have one hole right here that I think is going to work perfectly. So I've got this piece of steel right here that uh, is part of a, a Craftsman garage door opener piece that conveniently uh, has a bunch of holes drilled in it already. This is gonna be our actual stop with a pad on it. So we're gonna weld that together. Then I got this rubber foot right here that's gonna go in there. We're gonna screw that on. This will bolt it to the pedal. All it needs is one bolt. There's no real load on this thing. It's just a stop. We'll get this welded up and then Isaac can bolt it in and then we'll play with adjusting it. I did put an extra hole right here just in case we need to fine tune it. I think these holes are going to be too close. This hole is going to be too far away. It's going to be one of these two. But we'll see. Got it welded up. Just belligerently baked some paint on there while it was still scorching hot. It's still too hot to touch even with the paint melted on there but uh, we're going to screw the little rubber foot on it and then we'll put it in the car and see how it works so our rubber foot let's see if we can make some kind of a camera set up here dumb enough to work. I'm gonna let Isaac get this on here, but for demonstration purposes. So that's gonna go like that. Should I move it out more towards the so firewall? Point it straight. So where it's at right now, point it. Uh, I would point it so it's basically at the top edge of the floor mat, maybe. Looks like that. Now snug it up like a half a turn so that it won't move on its own, but yet you can still move it. If that makes sense. That way we can adjust it. Okay. Still yep, one more. 
until it won't fall down on its own. All right, so now your objective is to push the clutch pedal in and make it so that rubber pad is flat on the firewall. I mean, it already is pretty flat. So it's pretty good right there, huh? That looks pretty good too. Is it falling down on you? That looks pretty good. Something like that. Okay. I almost wonder if it should go out one more hole. That seems pretty far in. So you think the pedal's still going in too far? Or not far enough? I feel like the foot. It was a little way far back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it, because we don't want it to grind gears yet. So we'll get our tools picked up, we'll snug that up just a little bit, and then we'll start the car up and make sure that it'll go into gear without grinding. It doesn't have to be god awful tight, but enough so that it doesn't move. You'll have to pardon our gorpy ass shifter boot. That shifter boot is somewhat, somewhat temporarily. That's a copy of a B&M like automatic shifter boot. We just temporarily stuck that on there to quiet the car down. It's actually incredibly loud inside without a shifter boot on it. So we're working on we're working on that. Too close? Yeah, my knees are in the <laughs> dash. Does it feel different? Yeah. Because it should. <laughs> Clutch safety switch works. So it goes into gear just fine. Does it feel like the stop's actually doing something? I'm just curious how much it, we might have taken out of it. Like if there's an inch or two shorter. Yeah, I'd say that. All right, let's go ahead and drive it. Hi, C-17. We can have the men's room on. Oh my god. Uh, number five is up to the non-government Number four, lifesavers. The holiday lifesavers. The holiday book? Awesome. Do they have different flavors for their holiday lifesavers? I really think you're going to find that you're going to be able to drive the car even smoother because you don't have all that wasted space. I get in it and drive it it's going to be normal to me but you're used to it so now it feels funny well not necessarily but the pedal hits the floor the way that it was engineered to whereas we're trying to make mustang parts work in a crown vic with a custom pedal so i i try to explain to people that the clutch is adjusted properly the reason to travel is funny is because of the way we built the pedal 
Isaac hardly ever lets me drive this car anymore. Ooh, 10 points. That's right, foot to ass, people. Foot to ass. Some kids that know how it's done. Middle-aged trucker. I got good news for you. That's exactly how the lot lizards like them. I don't know what kind of truck stop you're pulling into. I was in one the other day. This place is beautiful. Now it's clear this way. Oh, doing the, doing the flip-flop. There's no line for the showers, Miles. They were open. Be able to speed shift the hell out of this thing without all that extra clutch travel. Definitely feels feels better. We just went from being video game buddies to me taking over his life. Nobody crash. There's kids everywhere. Oh my god, man! Almost wonder if we should go that way. Part of a collection of idol potential new dads. Maybe, maybe that would be the sense, baby. But then. Isaac was too sure about this modification at the very beginning when I first brought it up a couple of months ago, but I have a feeling after he drives it for even a day, he's going to be like, we should have done this a long time ago. We're not going very fast, I promise. I think it Oh, I like it might have fell down. Other than, other than that, though, when it's in its right spot, it feels good. We'll go back and tighten it up, and then I'm going to give her a try. Then Isaac's got to go to work. All right, trying to get you a shot of the finished product fully installed. It's working absolutely perfectly. That is one million, zillion, billion times better. That feels more like a moose tank.
got a few more projects coming up on this car and a few more projects coming up on other cars. If you guys have any questions about doing this clutch, clutch pedal uh, stop or or if you guys have any questions on adjusting a cable Mustang clutch, um, there, there's some quirks to it. Um, but anyways, if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments below and uh, stay tuned for the next one. There will be another eventual follow-up video to doing this uh, manual transmission um, swap. You know, just some things that we want to cover. Uh, electrical wiring and uh, the way we mounted some of the things and then uh, hopefully someday we'll get off our butts and find an actual shifter boot for this thing too. I hate this one. This shifter boot's pretty hideous. It really uh, and it sounds terrible. It really downplays our uh, Just hearing the rubber. That. I hate that. <laughs> kind of degrades our work a little bit. But anyways, we'll catch you on the next one.